This video will show you some of the basics of editing a paint action sequence. I am in the paint action sequence mode, which is the mode that launches when you start Studio Artist, and I'm just going to choose this first preset and press action. Paint action sequence presets combine all the different kinds of presets in Studio Artist into a script to build up interesting effects that you can save and use with any source image. It is a very powerful feature of Studio Artist. It's also how you process videos and do autoroscoping and animation. For this demonstration, I'm going to show you some simple edits to a paint action sequence by changing the coloring to match the source image instead of the saturated look. I will also change the canvas texture and then I will add a step to the paint action sequence. I'm going to step through each step of this paint action sequence by clicking on the red square next to the step and I will change a few of these steps. First, I'm going to move the paint action sequence window over to the right so I can open it up a bit and we can see the names of the steps better. Now I'll click on the first step which sets the canvas to white. And the next step is an auto paint step and this one I will want to edit. So now I will toggle to the editor. I also want to make sure that record is off while I'm editing so I don't inadvertently delete any steps. You would only have record on if you need to record a new step. Otherwise, it's best practice to have it turned off while editing. Since I have clicked on a step, the mode has automatically changed. And in this case, it has changed to the paint synthesizer because it's an auto paint step. And it's also an edit mode since I toggled to the edit mode before. This next step is an image operation. As you can see, it has changed to the image operation mode. And the next step is an adjust step. So now we're in the adjust mode. I'm going back to the paint preset that I want to edit by clicking on the red square. And now I'm going to change the coloring. Oh, I'm going to go to the paint color source panel in the paint synthesizer editor. So I can see that the color mode is using RGB match color palette. And what that means is that this is looking at the color palette and is trying to match the source image colors to the color palette. These light yellow colors are the closest color to her skin and the reds to her hair. So that's why it's choosing those colors. Just as an aside, it is really easy to change the color palettes by just dragging an image onto them. So for instance, you can use your favorite artist's paintings to create a palette. Just show you really quickly how to do that by going to Google and dragging an image into the palette. For this particular paint action sequence, I just want to match the source image color. So I'm going to change the color mode to just color, which will now match the coloring of the source image. Now I will save that by option clicking on Mac or alt clicking on Windows on the red square. Now I will step through again to check it. I am going to continue to step through. This one's fine, but this step is adding saturation. So I just want to mute it so it won't play back. And I just do that by checking the mute button. Mute is actually a music editing term that just means off. So now I'm going to step through again. Now, the rest of these are all good, but I want to change this canvas texture. So I will just undo that with Command Z on Mac or Control Z on Windows. Since this is a paint synthesizer step, we are back in the paint synthesizer edit mode. But with this step, I want to replace it with a different preset altogether. So I will toggle back to the presets window and out of editor mode. I will go to the canvas texture presets and choose the paper pastel preset and press action. Now I'm going to replace the old step by option clicking on Mac or alt clicking on Windows in the red square. This will replace that step with the paper pastel presets. This next step is just a duplicate of the old canvas texture, so I'm just gonna turn that off. The rest of the steps are fine, so now I will play the paint action sequence. Now I wanna save this new preset, so I will control click on Mac or right click on Windows inside the paint action sequence window and export the preset. You can also use File, Export, Export Paint Action Sequence Preset as well from the menu. All presets reside in the Studio Artist folder in a subfolder called Presets. There are several categories of presets and you need to put your presets into the correct category. So we need to put this preset in the Paint Action Sequence Preset folder or a Favorites folder. Favorites folders can house any kind of preset. But all the other preset folders can only house their specific type of preset. So paint presets need to go in the paint folder 
image operations presets need to go in the image operations folder, etc. Often it's better just to save and organize your presets into your favorites since you can put any kind in there so you don't have to worry about that. There are other training videos on preset management that you can watch. But here I'm just going to make a new subfolder in the Paint Action Sequence preset folder and call it My Paint Action Sequence and save the preset there. Now I'm going to go back to the Paint Action Sequence presets and check out my new preset. So now I just want to add another step. I'm going to add a little more edging. So I'll go over to Image Operations and choose an edging preset. Now I will turn on Record and press Action to add that step. And now I'm going to save the preset this time by going back to the Paint Action Sequence Presets and Option click on Mac or Alt click on Windows on my new preset icon, which will bring up this dialog and I will say yes and save the edited preset. The next video will show you how you can blend steps from different paint action sequence presets and make a new paint action sequence preset.